very early age, I knew exactly what I wanted. I knew where I was going. I knew where I was going to do it. So I just had to get out there and go make it happen. I can't run around and manage 35 companies. It's an impossibility. When people say, how do you do it? It's about good leadership. It's about giving proactive duties to people, making sure they can make proactive decisions for themselves. Come back to me with what you think is a good idea. Let's talk about it for five minutes, and then you move on and go make it happen. I give enough people opportunities, and I give them those opportunities on a daily basis, but I also give you enough rope to hang yourself with. Because of the, the stores that my father owned, we used to get these stickers at part of Simba, and, and they basically gave it for free. So I had every sticker that every kid wanted, so I had the Monopoly of the Market. And that was my first lesson in business, is Monopoly of Market. When I went into my first business, it was actually in Matric. I went to approach my father and said, look, I'm no longer interested in this. He encouraged me and said, go ahead. If we're gonna play, then let's go big. You know, let's not play around with this. Basically, they disappeared with my money. I'd lost my first 12 million rand. It was a real lesson that I don't think I would ever live down. When you lose, you lose big. When you win, you win big. I don't look at the small things anymore. I look at every big thing. To date, the charity itself, Generosity, has built over 850 wells, helped over a million people to get access to clean water. I'm aspiring as a global president to become the largest charity company in the world. I'd like to be known as the guy that changed millions of people's lives.